Hi, good people from all around the world. This is Nick from Olivia Let's Plays. Welcome back to Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Now, I recorded about 20 minutes worth of footage. Um, the mic was off. But unfortunately, the mic was off. But um, I killed Glarther to get to the Dark Brotherhood. <coughs> And because unfortunately I saved over the save that I had started before then, and the other one is like hours behind that, or actually not hours. But I killed Glarther to to join the Dark Brotherhood, and we're out to. Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry. We're out to uh, do the uh, Ill of Omen. I'm just gonna redo it. I'm gonna redo it. So originally I was going to kill um, the guy that, that sold me the staff back for lots, lots of money. Or I sold him it. I had to buy it back from him for lots of money. Um, so I originally was going to kill him, but then I went to his house and I was just about to kill him. And then I saw that he had a wife. So I'm like, I'm not going to do this, no. So uh, the only person I could think of was Blair there, so... I record a whole episode, but my or, or 20 minutes, and my mic was turned off, so that sucks. I don't know if you guys and anyone who records, but no. if, when you record like a whole, luckily it wasn't like an hour. If it was an hour, man, I would I would be. It's like when I record stuff and I'm like, I have to watch this video all over again now. Yeah, that's just the worst. You know, it's it's tough to do. And your reactions and what you say and stuff is are never as good as the first time. Right. They're never as good. Like this recording isn't going to be as good as the recording the that would have had other you know before. It's just not. And so you guys kind of miss out too a little bit. So, but at any rate, we're gonna kill Glarther because he's the best. Aside from. See, I would kill the annoying fan, but the thing is, is you have to join the, the, the arena for that. So I'm just going to do that. Is this? Oh, it's across this way. And this is kind of a perfect kill in a way because he's right behind this church here. So, you, you, like, he'll, uh, no one's gonna know. Morning. <laughs> the guy says morning to me. Here we go. So, right about here at midnight. Now, I wonder if I can get up on here. Will he be able to talk to me, like, instantly before I can even shoot him? Well, the last time I killed him was, the, I think, the, the best way. Right about there. Midnight. Oh, it's 1 p.m.? Shoot. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I went after the source and met him first. I have to wait a little bit longer. About 12 hours. It's a long ass time to wait. Yeah, guards, there's a guy with a sword waiting behind the church. He's just. Just waiting there with the sword. <laughs> Seems suspicious to me. I don't know. There's Glather. Don't come for me. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. If you only knew. If you only knew. All right. 
I'm gonna give him a quick death though. I'm gonna give him Ah, you can't well here's I need I'm gonna give him Oh well I understand. The danger is too great. You're just have to take matters into my own hands. The only way now. And to think Die, damn you! Last time I killed him I got sneak damage. Ah, oh, it's been absorbed by forces unknown. Okay. Now, last time I took... It's kind of good I had to re-record this because some of it wasn't the best. Like, dragging people is, like, so difficult in this it's game. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. Here's the proceed. So was I caught for murder? I think I was. This happened last time, but I had accidentally pickpocketed somebody. 40 gold is a low thing to pay for murder, though. The land, the bridge of the torches and thunder and lightning. Got away from them. So now what we do is we find an inn. Now I could go one step ahead of the game and, and sleep at the end of Bill Omen, but I have no freaking idea where that is. I don't know if it's on the map before I before I get the quest. So I'm just gonna sleep the same place I slept last time, but this time there was something I wanted to do last time, but he I wanted to. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see what I mean. But I still got my my stabby stab weapon. Merchants in. Okay, just double checking my mics. <laughs> my mics on. <laughs> it's like the worst man. Well, one of the worst things. A pleasure okay. to see. It's my pleasure. I do. Yeah. All right. So. Bye. Starting the dark. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Last recording, I told you. Um, I'm starting the Dark Brotherhood to get a hold of the poison apples. And once I get a hold of the poison apples, I will do this thing uh, I've been meaning to do. There's certain things in this game I've been wanting to do for a long time. Like, I've thought about doing a Let's Play for a long time, and there's certain things I want to do. Uh, one of which is to put poison apples across the whole, like, from city to city. Like thousands of just poisonous apples, replace all the food, just put poisonous apples, especially in the guard towers, because of the guard towers they can respawn, and then just go from town to town doing that, just do a whole ep episode, um, <laughs> and just watching people eat, or, or you know, so that's, that's the plan, but I'm going to have to do a separate save for that, because you can uh, kill key characters in the game doing that. <laughs> and, and you won't be able to do cer certain guild quests or certain even main quests, I think. But at any rate, and the shadow approaches. So endurance, willpower, and strength, so we can carry more stuff. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Propose? This guy. Explain yourself now. In due time, dear child. In due time. First, an introduction. I am Lucian Lachance, speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. And you. You are a cold-blooded killer, capable of taking life without mercy or remorse. The Night Mother has been watching, and she is most pleased. And so, here I am. I come to you with an offering. Ah, I find your etiquette refreshing. 
Now please, listen carefully. On, On the, the green, green road, road to the, the north, north of Brazil, Brazil lies, lies the inn of ill omen. Why do people stay there? There you will Since... find a man named Rufio. Oh no, not Rufio. I love her. Initiation into the Dark Brotherhood <laughs> will You've not heard that joke yet. Rufio. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure. I will reveal myself once more, bearing We've got another the section love done. Yay, good job. Family. She's doing a diamond painting right now. Diamond dots. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, please, accept this you are not. From you are messing with me. I love you. It is a virgin blade and thirsts for blood. May it serve your endeavors well. I have to use a specific now, blade too. I bid you farewell. This is the way this guy talks I too. One to murder, so. two murder. Ah, ah, ah. I am the count of murders. One stabby stab. Blade of woe. Oh no. Um. So, what I did last time was I went wanted to save it to to go after him, but there we go. Save right away. So what if the speaker gets killed himself? He will be silenced. Your path is clear. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's what happens, guys. You you can't go. <laughs> you can't join the Dark Brotherhood. Wow. That's a good. You did a great job. You know, there's probably Wanna like show? fourteen thousand. We've been working on our diamond painting, guys. Put those on individually. Yep. Every little dot. <laughs> so that's what happens, is you. I love you. And that'll be two. Oh wow, he's got loads of fortify on his home. Speechcraft, blade, illusion, marksman. Whoa. Man, and then just a regular dark green shirt. I'm gonna take your luck, babe. Okay. So that's what happens. I wonder what happens if we try to pickpocket him. He's stuck there. He's not moving. He's stuck there now. Ha! I'm gonna take your gold. Take it. It's worthless to me. Wow. I took his gold and he said it's worthless to him. What? was weird. So we're gonna have to kill Rufio. He's got his own TikTok, the guy who, who played Rufio. Rufio, Rufio. Man, I've got the wrong door. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. How are you? I'm doing better than Rufio. Rufio's gonna get killed. This is a very different Rufio. I just want to... <laughs> they didn't put the, the same Rufio from the movie in there. Strange door. That's weird. Gotta check that out later. Harry Potter and the strange door. Harry Potter and the ill in of ill omen. Man, it's a long way... Oh, it's actually not that far. Just stable situation. So... So I save again. I don't know why every time I travel by foot, the game seems to crash. So just in case if the game crashes, I save it every now and then when I go on foot now. So I'm going to get my, my speed. Oh, I put A in front because it will be at the top then. Which I think I did. This is weird then. I thought I had one with speed. This is very weird. Yeah, I have that. 
I thought I had one that boosted my speed. Oh, weak speed. There we go. That's why. Okay. I don't have speed as key yet because my my skill level is not quite at high yet. We'll get there. Definitely traveling faster than we normally would. the path. Once my restoration goes up, I can do a better speed one. Fortify my speed by like a hundred or something. Whoa. Oh. Hey. All right. Gotcha. Me three of shield, elf mace. Eh. I keep forgetting what's the what's the thing that get you in and out of first person. I've forgotten, guys. So let's see the skills here. Wow, speed is at 180. Speeds at 200. Oh god, it's a bear. Oh, bear. Oh, bear, 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 bear. Ha! Ha! I'm up here, you can't get to me, bear. Alright, bear. Time for the bear necessities. Mother Nature's recipes. Forget about your worries and your strife. Okay. See, you can move. Ah. Uh, see, I don't get what it is. Is you can move it just for just a tiny bit, and then at some point it just lets go. Like I hate that. I don't remember it that being that way before. Like you can barely move it. Just want to see it roll down the hill. Please roll down the hill. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Barrel roll. There. There. Now, I'm going to have a right to bear arms here. There we go. Come on. Don't disappoint Mowgli now. That's right. Do the barrel roll. <laughs> I wish it was a bigger mountain. Oh man, that, that's perfect. Oh. One day we're gonna have to. <laughs> makes me laugh. That's one of the things I wanted to 
there's many things in this game I wanted to do, but that's one of them was, you know, it's not, not that big of a hill, so it was a little bit not as good as it would be, but it still made me laugh. And I hope it made you guys laugh too. too. Um, so, even though I missed my recording the first time, I think that was worth it for me. Just to have the bear, just to have the bear on there. It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> I remember doing that so many times. I almost wish I could just summon them up, you know, like to fight and then have them. I suppose. I don't know if there's a, a spell. Oh god, what are you? Are you the Minotaur? Hey, Minotaur. Minotaur, I choose you! Minotaur Lord? Lordy Lord Lord. I'm gonna knock out a Minotaur here. And a box with a Minotaur. What happened that you took my sword, Minotaur? I don't choose you no more. It's you and me. I know what's my destiny, Minotaur. Oh, I punch you in the head until you die, Minotaur. Please roll. Please roll, Minotaur. Minotaur, roll. Punch you till you know. All right. Move, Minotaur. This is what I mean. It's so annoying trying to grab these things. They barely move. There we go. Now we're starting to work here. Gravity, let gravity do the work from here. Come on. I'm going to punch you in the butt, Minotaur. I'm going to punch you in the butt till you get off there and roll. Okay. Roll, Minotaur. Roll. See, that's what I mean is, you gotta move slow. I think maybe if I did this and did this, this might work better. Because I seem to move past them before I can even move them. Ah, you disappoint me, Minotaur. Freaking hate this. I hate, you can't move them. All right. I'll try Heat Miser. Oh. Heat Miser's not gonna get him either. It twitches. Doesn't do anything else. Freaking Minotaur, man. Okay. If I move. Yeah, you can't grab him for sure. There we go. I think we're starting to work here. Punch you in the butt so you move down there, Minotaur. Come on. And even after a death, you're the pain in the... 
Whoa. Oh, I turned... Oh, where? I pressed Q by accident. Don't you win there, but... Okay. Alright. Come on. The funniest... Oh. Not there. I thought she was. Funniest thing happened, Bebe? I got a bear. I got a bear to roll down the hill. Like I killed it right off, and then I got to, but I pushed off the hill. I'm trying to do the same thing to this guy, but this guy is not move. He's not as round as the bear. Like he's not as ergonomically organized. To can I do the the grab and jump at the same time? there. Come on. That's why it's better to shoot him off a hill or a mountain than doing this up. He's going to do it. Yeah, he's not, he's not built for it like the freaking bear was. Man, that's why, and that's one thing that I like about better about Skyrim. Overall, I like Oblivion better than Skyrim. But if there's one thing that Skyrim does better, it's that you can foos radaw things off. By forcing them off. That's the one thing. Now, I haven't played through Skyrim all the way through, but I've seen Let's Plays of it. I've watched Steven plays, uh, play through all of Skyrim, so. Like, I don't know what it's like to play it completely, and I, I want to do it one day after this one. But, um. Sorry about that long break there. The freaking mi trying to get the Minotaur to roll. See, the bear is round. It's it's just much easier once you get it to go. I'm going the opposite way. It's a good thing I looked at my map. It's a very good thing I looked at my map. Oh, my sword is gone. That's why I have more than one sword, guys, because. I have the Blade of Woe. I was not attacking. Freaking... Oh, I didn't lose it. It just it got broken. Okay. There we go. forget I have to kill him with the blade of woe. Man, the blade of woe is disappointing looking. I mean, it's a, stall, it's a small dagger. The design looks cool, though. Well, we got plenty of rooms if... Rufio? He's an old codger. Been living here for a couple of weeks now. His room is downstairs. 
in what I like to call the private quarters. Use that hatch in the floor over there. Farewell, and tell your friends, the Inn of Ill Omen is open for business, as always. This is why I have the night eye ring, so I can see. Ooh, so pretty. So I can see better in situations like this. All right, it'll be a. It's gonna be a quick, merciful death. I'm gonna jump on your bed a couple times just to mess with you. He's a deep sleeper. He's just not dying. What the gives? There we go. Man, that blade of woe is weak. He looks very different from the other oh. Rufio. You're not the right Rufio. Take your gold though. Okay. That way it looks like it was a robber. Okay. Whose door is this? Gotta find that out. Save beforehand. In any situation you can mess yourself up with. Save before you do it. Go. Night eye helps so much. There's nobody in here. It's weird. Well, might as well sleep in here. <laughs> The deed is done. How do I know this? You'll find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things, for you are now part of the family. Now, you embrace your fate. For the slaying of Rufio is the signing of a covenant. The manner of execution, your signature, Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. You must now go to the city of Shadenhall, to the abandoned house near the yes, eastern Yes, this is when we get Italy. access to the poison the apples, guys. Open. The Black Door. The Black Door. You will be asked a question. Answer Sanguine. Thusly. Sanguine, my brother. My brother, you will gain entrance to the sanctuary. Once inside, speak with Ochiva. We must now take our leave of each other, you and I, for there is much work to be done. I'll be following your progress. Welcome to the family. <laughs> You are now one with the Dark Brotherhood. Visit Ochiva at the Chaden Hall Sanctuary, and your new life will begin. Ha! Ah. I'm taking your shoes. Oh, man. I am part of the Jedi, you say the Sithis. Oh, he's he's unconscious. See, before I could kill him, 
But now this time he's just unconscious. And he, he disappeared. He disappeared. Oh, no. He's right here. He's right here. You know what that means. Ha! Ah, who's the who's the speaker now? Um the whole thing all over again basically this time it will be really dark it will really be the dark brotherhood because the night eye is not on this time so, so the deed is done now as Rufio lies dead well done you are now one with the dark brotherhood visit Ojiba Jaden Hall. Jaden Hall? What? At the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. can go to Chaden Hall. Is there a shrine? Okay, dope. Yeah, so we'll finally have access to the poison apples. Take a witch and take a bite. Then we will duplicate loads and loads and loads of them. This is definitely the house. The door in the basement, huh? Maybe this is the wrong time. Let's see. Yeah, it is at night. I mean, I don't know why the Dark Brotherhood wouldn't be operating during the night hours, but... And they should call themselves the Brotherhood of, Dark, of Sunshine and Rainbows, then. Hmm. Alright, so that's not what we're I'm trying to remember the hell. I guess you have to break in. That's that's what I gotta do. I mean, the door is easy. Let's save just in case. There's the door. White is the color of night. Yes. Greetings, brother. <laughs> Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. 
Lucien has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, I've kept you long enough. Shrouded armor. Gold. Oh. Fortify sneak, illusion, marksman, blade. It has one armor rating though. <laughs> I could get that just now, by doing the trick. Remember and may the night mother wrap you in her cold loving. I wish to welcome you. I welcome you to our May you walk always in the shadow of Zidis, dear brother. That is so cool. Now Welcome, brother. If I remember right, the guy that sells it is like the G. Why, sister? What's the point? Why should... Welcome. Okay, so it's not him. Happy hunting. Warmest welcome. It's not her either. May your arrows there you are. This is the guy that sells the poison apples. If it isn't apples. the newest member of the family, let's get one thing straight. The tenants prevent me from killing you, but I don't have to like you. I'll sell you equipment, but only because Ochiva is making me. This family doesn't need any outsiders. Wow, we can get him a poison apple too. Vice it is. I don't have all day. Oh Hurry wow. Up. You get all kinds of different things here. Black winter. Blood. Huh, I'm, that one gives me invincibility, so I might restore health. I'll get that one, because it will... I'm looking for anything that I could use for the, the trick. Command humanoid. I'll get that one. Just... Now... Vice it is. I don't have all day. Hurry it up. Long sword of fire. Bow of eternal frost. Infernal frost. Arrows. Ooh, arrows of the glacier? Whoa. Now that is interesting. But the main thing we're here for, and I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. They have it. They don't. Yes, they do. Thank God. Yes. So this is why we started the Dark Brotherhood, guys, so we could get the poison apples. When NPCs eat these things, um, they they fall over and die. So for the next step, <laughs> so for the next episode, um, I'm gonna get my my uh, what I can my featherweight, what I can hold. I can hold a lot right now, as it is. Like, I can hold 658. I'm going to try to get it to boost it to 700, because that's why I increased my strength. Because if I increase my strength, I can even do the trick, the um, infinite enchant or permanent enchantment glitch to get it. I'm going to try to get it to 700 if I can. And that way I can hold lots and lots and lots of apples. I'm talking like thousands of apples. And that means I have to get more scrolls, too, because I'm low on scrolls, so I have to get, like, a thousand scrolls or something. So I will save it right in front of this guy. I'll make loads of different saves, because, like I said before, I don't want to keep it once I... once I poison the whole world with full of poisonous apples and all the NPCs and enemies die. That's... Make it 
lots of different saves with this guy. This will be like my backup saves. Okay. So if I go and load log, there's lots of ones with him with the blue. I thought I made it clear I'm not looking. So in the next episode, guys, I plan on doing, uh, giving poison apples to like almost all the towns. It's it's an ambitious thing. I might do it just town by town, like one town at a time, like all of the, uh, all the imperial area, and all of Coral and Jaden Hall, and one by one, you know. I might do it that way and just have a separate save. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.